This brief lesson is going to teach you how to draw isometric fillets for isometric drawings. Before we begin, I selected some existing completed isometric fillets with my selection tool. You will see ellipses that are already drawn everywhere here for that concept, which I'll show you. Let me zoom in closer so you can see that. You can see the silhouette of the ellipse that the original shape was made from before it was trimmed above and below here same as over here and as we made the slots like you see here the silhouette of the ellipses when they are isocircles will remain so I'm going to do the two that you see here to give you that example again of how to draw ellipses trimmed to become fillets First thing you do not do is you do not use a fillet command. We know that these are radius of 3 fourths. We will not use fillet set it to 3 fourths with a radius of 3 fourths and pick these two lines. This is incorrect. It may look correct, but it's not. As you know from the drawing, the center and the center of these fillets share the same center point. Here they do not as you see right there, they're separate. The correct way is to use isocircles. I'm going to set their fillet radius back to zero so I can reconnect them. So this is how it works. You will have to draw lines to find the center of your object, which is probably right there, but just to make sure I'll point in this direction, type in three-fourths, come down three-fourths. I'm correct, that is the same center as this as I would have expected. Now I can use the ellipse command. Instead of, instead of picking ellipse here, which we don't do, you have to type in ellipse in order to activate the isocircle method. See at the bottom of your screen? Pick isocircle. Pick the center of your, or excuse me, pick the endpoint or center of your isocircle. See it stretching? And then you type in the radius or diameter. If it's in the wrong direction, just hit the F5 key to get in the correct direction. Here, I could just grab this line because that is line. That line length is three fourths, and there's my true isocircle fillet. I need one in the back. Let me copy this. Copy. Pick that object. Enter. This will be my base point, and this will be my second point. So now I have a back copy as well. Now I will use a trim command. To clean this up, and get rid of all this, of course. Whatever cannot be trimmed, I'll just erase. That's a residual from that three-fourths line I drew, and this is the uh, actual correct fillet radius. I'll do that over here. Same thing, three-fourths. The center happens to be the same point right here, so. I'll just do the ellipse command, type in ellipse, pick the isocircle method, find the center, which I can't seem to grab, mainly because ellipses do not have centers, so I do need to have a draw line here anyway, so we'll go back here, three-fourths, down three-fourths, now I have something to grab onto, ellipse. Before I pick that, I must touch isocircle. Pick here, pick there, copy it back. Base point, the second point. Get rid of things I know I don't need. Start trimming. That must be needed to be erased later. Some more trimming that'll happen here in a second. Let me get rid of this first. We got to connect that. Here we don't need to connect it. Over here we do, just like you see here. To connect it, you need to find the quadrant snap, the diamond. And now I can trim the rest of this. And there's a correct fillet. The center and the center of these you should share the same center point. End of video.